Chinese tennis star Peng Shuai claims to be safe in 30-minute video call with IOC chief Thomas Bach. Here's a summary of the article. Peng Shuai, the 35-year-old Chinese tennis professional, said she was safe and well, following speculation about her apparent disappearance, the International Olympic Committee said on Sunday. Peng had a 30-minute video call with IOC chief Thomas Bach, who was joined by Emma Terho, the head of the IOC Athletes Commission, and an IOC member in China Li Lingwei, who has known Peng Shuai for many years. The Chinese government has refused to comment on the accusations or Peng's location. The editor-in-chief at the Chinese state-owned newspaper The Global Times tweeted the footage of Peng at the Fila Kids Junior Tennis Challenger Finals. The Women's Tennis Association, which has been vocally calling for proof of Peng's whereabouts, called the evidence insufficient. It added that the footage does not address the WTA's concerns. I have a hard time believing that Peng Shuai actually wrote the email we received or believes what is being attributed to her, WTA chief Steve Simon wrote earlier this week. Expressions of concern, outrage and support have come from across the tennis world, including tennis superstars Serena Williams, Naomi Osaka, and Novak Djokovic, as well as former tennis stars Chris Evert and Billie Jean King, among others. This post received a score of 5,800, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Why IOC instead of WTA WTA started the fire but you are reaching IOC in hope of saving Winter Olympics? No, your main concern is not losing any money from boycotts against the upcoming Beijing Olympics. And the lack of transparency in this apparent call isn't assuaging any fears that she's actually okay. But nothing else can really be done. No interview that she does in China will prove she's not under duress. Even if she wasn't in China and was somewhere in Europe, the government could have her family under guard to where she still is not able to speak freely. We know she's alive and that's probably all we're going to get. Allowing her to leave China would be a start. The fact that they're not doing that makes it look worse, not better for them, when they try and half-ass it, because it's obvious they're covering. It's fucking bizarre that the genius brainwashing minds of the CCP don't realize that. They must be high on their own supply. Edit, I'm waiting for comments on my nerdy game threads how do I turn off notifications about the CCP's inward-facing propaganda machine tears of joy. It's less about them not realizing how it looks to outsiders and more about how the CCP literally couldn't care less what outsiders think. The WTA is of no concern to the CCP. They have a population of 1.4 billion people and control access to that market. The CCP doesn't care what the rest of the world thinks. The CCP is interested in the Olympics solely to hold it up as an example to the Chinese people. Brands as well sportsmen rightfully should pull out from the games which is specifically why they called in the IOC to prevent that from happening. See Inland News they can adjust in any way they want. Heck nobody here knows even what happened with Peng Shuai. Now the real story isn't just about Peng Shuai unfortunately. What happened to her isn't the only story. There are countless stories like her with the top bras but even on a local level. China will rapidly move ahead and brush off as if nothing happened just like how a while ago how a chain of let the children get raped by Chinese top military and again officials. There is no loss of face to the international community because the CCP doesn't care what the international community thinks. The kindergarten example you linked is a particularly heinous example. I wish I could say that I'm surprised by what you're saying, but it makes sense. Otherwise, that information will never move beyond the local area if the CCP doesn't want it to. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.